This video is going to serve as a quick overview on record templates. The way we're using record templates here is we are using it for task creation. We have three different examples of record templates right here. The first one we can talk about is going to be for video. If you've seen the automation video, then you know that we have a couple different automations. One of them is for any time a new project is created and the project type is video, it will then apply this record template to that project. So you can see right here, the first task is going to be for the style guide. And you can see the start date is two days after the start date. And the due date is eight days after the start date. We've also got a creative lead assigned in this example. Let's say this is uh, the person that is going to be responsible for this task. You don't necessarily need to have a creative lead. You can just leave it blank and then allow your project manager to assign the best fit individual. And then of course down here, we can also make some adjustments to things like status or priority. Status likely should be to do, but let's say this is a very high priority task, so we can assign it as high. And then we can assign the estimated amount of hours that are going to be needed to complete this task. As you go down, you can see we have another task here for sketch 10 days after start date, 13 days after start date, and so forth. Now the way to create a net new record template, there's two ways you could either duplicate one of these templates out, or you can select create a new template. Conceptually, the way that I think about which table to use is I like to think about the table that is going to be the trigger and that table needs to have a linked record to whatever records I want created. In this case, the trigger is going to be whenever a new project is created and the project table already has a linked record to the task. So I can select project and then I can say link to a new task and then I can fill out the fields right here. Not all of these fields are gonna need to be filled out, but I can just fill out the fields that are relevant. So let's say there is a person that I know is gonna be responsible for this step. I can set a relative date. I could do either before or after the start date. Same thing goes for due date. And then let's say if I wanted to update the priority, I can update the priority. And then I can add the number of hours that are gonna be needed for this task. And then I can just go ahead and add in my second task. Another option that you have is rather than creating a net new task like that, you can also duplicate the existing task right here. This way, uh, let's say it's gonna be the same creative lead, different task name, and then I can update the values directly from here. Kind of like that. I can then apply a name for this. So let's call this infographic. And you can see infographic right here. The next step is going to be to have an automation so that I can apply this record template to a new project. There's a couple different ways we can go on about doing this. One of them is going to be like we mentioned here. So it's gonna be when a record is created, project type is ebook, update record from a template, the record template is ebook. If you're gonna go this route, our recommendation would be to just simply duplicate this existing automation, change the name. So instead of ebook, it says infographic, and then you're gonna to wanna to edit the condition so that project type is, uh, let's say if you have an option for infographic, it would be infographic or whatever the corresponding project type should be. And then you can just go ahead down here and instead of selecting the ebook, you can change it to the infographic. The other way that you can do this is in the interface layer. So if we go to the project management view and we go to a project, you might remember we have the ability to add in extra revisions just by clicking on a button. Let's just quickly go into edit mode and we can show you how that's set up. If you click on this button right here, you're gonna see that it, the action is apply record template and the name of the template is going to be extra revisions. So that's another way that you can also look into applying the record templates. That's going to wrap up the overview on record templates. We have a lot of other resources related to record templates on the support site. We'll do a quick demo first to show you how record templates work. We're going to go ahead and just send through a 
test. So right here, we have our test. We have a start date, end date. The project name is record template test and the project type is ebook. Once I hit create, you'll see it populate right here. And as you can see, the tasks already populated. You also notice that all of the tasks have a start date, a due date based on the criteria that we set up. And they also have billable hours that are associated for all of the different tasks.